Good afternoon. My name is Ni Hao. Today is my great pleasure to be here. My app is called uh, Almighty Night, which is targeted at personal or individual user. Now I'd like to share with you the Almighty Night. Well, first, the name of or the idea of these apps, I think, is coming from the feedback of our users. We focus very much on the advice and uh, feedback of our users, especially when they are using Blackberries. I like to know their experience. So their feedback and ideas will be collected by us, and later we'll have some do, do some evaluation and discussion. So the Almighty Night is actually also coming from the feedback of our users. Here I'd like to display the apps for you. Actually, there are two icons for the Almighty Night. It's all connected to mobile. It is a software, but why two icons? Because one of the icons is also an important function of uh, Almighty Night, that is uh, a quick launch starter. In quick launch, we can launch all these third-party apps, for example, like the music and video as well as camera apps of BlackBerry. These apps do not have a quick start icon, so we can um, actually start those icons here with the, um, uh, the quick launch icon of uh, the Almighty Night. I think one of the major advantages of it should be the fast start, uh, the fast start launches, for example, like music and other. So long as we have set it properly, we can actually enter it with one touch of the fast start uh, keys. So quick launch is very useful and also very unique. It can launch the apps you'd like to launch in the shortest time. There are five models altogether. First is fast launch. Second is system in uh, enhancement. As for system enhancement, we use the original CUI of BlackBerry. We're attending the awards. We are actually using the blue one. Later on, we did some innovation and updates. So it does not have the blue background anymore. So the original UI can provide some very convenient and user-friendly experience and functions. It's also very small because here we have a, a function that when you are browsing a website or internet, you'd like to know the time, you can push the, uh, the, the, the button, maybe you have to return back to the main page. But uh, our apps can actually be very friendly. If you have set it properly, you can get to know the time, even when you are reading a novel or you are browsing a web page. With the, so you don't have to switch back to the to the uh, desktop of your phone. 
十十八卷十家的显示。So we can see. Now you can have the time here. So this function is very user friendly. And later on is、uh, the reminder. That is,、uh, for example, like、uh, some little functions, like incoming calls and so on. If you're holding the phone in your hand, you will know whether the vibration or the 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 music is、uh, coming from. The calls or coming from the short messages, and fourth is data transfer. You can actually you can actually、um, have a data reserve in your SD card. So no matter what you've done to your Phones, especially data in your phone, you can restore them in your SD card. For example, like the address book, it can be restored in the form of VCF in some general format. And the last function is. It's very special. Our company would like to provide some special function for the clients. For example, like the a message pop, message pop out. We can have a preview here. So without entering into the message box, you can have a preview of this message. And the second function. Uh, currently, it's the second one, but I think in the future there will be more、uh, unique features. As we know, we can only set one clock alarm in BlackBerry Phone, but now we can actually、uh, add a lot of clock alarms through this app. So generally speaking, the Almighty Knight has such an idea that is to solve the needs or problems of the users to make it convenient for our users to make the user experience better. Just now, I prepared the PowerPoint, but、uh, I haven't、uh, have a copy on this computer, so I just、uh, had a spontaneous、uh, presentation right now due to the time limits. I like to share with you my personal in,、uh, ideas. I think、uh, first you have to listen. That is, listen to the voice of our users. As a developer, we need to stand in the shoes of the users because users are are the one who use your products only when when only when through these of、uh, their feedbacks and ideas can you get to know the advantages and disadvantages of your products and can you make progress in improving your products. Sometimes、uh, the key to success is not、uh, whether the function of the software is strong enough or the technological content. Instead, you should、uh, it should be whether the UI is good enough, whether they can solve the needs of the users. I think these products can be a good product. Second is is that uh, I think uh, each products or apps have its life. So 
You have to have passion, issue the them, so as to make innovations and breakthroughs and improvements on your products and services. So in this way, your products can't be worse, unless it's my personal、um, thinkings or ideas. At last, I'd like to thank BlackBerry, like、uh, to thank my company for supporting me. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Ming. Now you can find the information about their software. Now let's welcome Max Popup. Uh, software and、uh, let's welcome Mr. Yang Shen from Chengdu. Sorry, there's something wrong with the USB driver of my cell phone, so I will only use PowerPoint. What is、uh, Max Popup? Actually, it is a short message pop-up and a PIM and those、uh, function softwares. So when you are on a call, and、uh, uh, some people say that when is your meeting this afternoon, maybe、uh, sometimes you need to go back to your original、uh, original screen and to check. However, when you use our Max Popup software, you can find those exact data directly. Now, see below is those Max Popup screen. You can put some fast button, and you can、uh, go easily find your the information you need, like schedule, telephone number. And the telephone book and etc. And also the management of email pop up and etc. It supports email short message, and it's a pop out alarm. And it can also show you that the email is from which sender, and it can show this、uh, face and other things. That's the display of two screens. As、uh, uh, one is that while you are on a meet one during a phone call, you can create a new task. Like in all those tasks and those calendar, you can or choose choose what you want. This is a email pop up screen. It support all BlackBerry fast fast. Button like P is for page down and R is for reply, you know, and for all those、uh, functions like already read, yet to be read, and etc. And you can also、uh, give each、um, contactor a photo. And this you need you to be set up. And this is for a short message alarm screen. For ATI problem, they do not support many fast buttons. They only support reply and page down and page up.、Uh, that's it. Thank you. Now we will show a any view. This is a reading software. You know that on BlackBerry you cannot read TX text directly, and this software can support different kind of e-books. Now let's welcome Mr. Ye Xiaoming. Good afternoon. Actually, originally it should be Mr. Zhang Jian to do the、uh, speech. So now, on behalf of Zhang Jian, I will show you our software. Any any view? When you enter any view, there are all these function buttons. That's five five function buttons. The first is. 
is the information management of all your recent browser information, like the name of the file and where it is saved. And how, and how many times do you read it? It is quite convenient. Second, it's a history, history record of your NAVU's software. For instance, I have seen all these websites. You can open any book you, you like. It will remember uh, the paragraph you last read. Third is it's about a, a fire browser. You can you can read read all the you can find the root of those files on your cell phone and open the one you want. Fourth, it is an any view system setup button. You can set up the system according to your habit and and then can design your own any view reading system. Finally, this is an update and a tracking function. It will check that whether your version is the uh, up to the up to date one. Uh, that's my info, uh, speech. Thank you. Uh, just uh, as I mentioned, all those softwares are closely related with our everyday life. And uh, this, uh, the following software is about wormhole cloud uh, browsing. It can help you get the information you need for your life. Uh, good afternoon. Before introducing my product, I want to say something about my understanding of the app on BlackBerry. Well, there are some good things and some bad things. Actually, BlackBerry is quite good. However, the good applicants are lax. They lack good applications. Now, we have now altogether we have 1.5 million users and we have a uh, hundred thousand uh, BlackBerry users and uh, for our requests every day one fifth are from BlackBerry uh, subscribers. We can see that the BlackBerry users are quite responsive. Well, I'm worried that uh, for our whole team, there are only three people. We have Java platform, Android platform, altogether three platforms. And we, our workload lies in backstage development. So every one of us spend a lot of time on the customer's terminal. We really want to improve our BlackBerry uh, searcher screen. Now I will show you the functions of our product. You can say that that's our major screen. The, uh, one is the input input uh, tools. It's similar to Google and Baidu, but we provide different services. We actually we focus on convergence. We hope that we can provide those data and the information on the internet to those cell phone users and help them to use those uh, online services rapidly and efficiently and conveniently. Um, now I do not do this import process and show you some of our uh, browser record. At first, I just want to check the lab ticket for those trains Z11. Uh, it's connecting. Uh, it's quite rapid, actually. Uh, if you use the BlackBerry, we can the whole 
time that only takes two to three seconds. This is real-time data from the internet. Now I will show you another powerful function about uh, the bus. So, which means that we can get information directly. And uh, now, when people they want to know how to uh, go from Tsinghua to Jiao Tong University, and so he inputs this request. And it shifts to the next uh, level to see the bus route from Tsinghua to Jiao Tong University. It's all real-time data and uh, already experienced many backstage services. So the major part of our software is for backstage service. That took us about one year. And we delivered this customer terminal in September last year. But together now, we we have 210,000 new users in April. Finally, I will introduce our group. A group have three people, and we're focusing on a cell phone application. Now we have 1.5 million users, and we are actively seeking financing. So if there are some suitable partners, we hope that you can contact me after the meeting. Thank you. You know, if you have a cell phone of different brands, it's quite hard to, trans to transfer uh, data from different uh, cell phone platforms. Our next, next software is called Cell Phone Wax, Wax Pen. It can help you to transfer data uh, from different uh, cell phone platforms. I'm from this uh, wax pen group, and I'm uh, my major business is for, uh, for the uh, service for BlackBerry. Actually, it is a Korean that is for for the tool. Uh, Korean. Uh, from the name of this tool software, maybe you do not understand its usage. Actually, it is uh, a real-time uh, dual-channel data transmission software. Uh, maybe you are not familiar. Maybe you are familiar with this kind of function, because BlackBerry is bounded with your email box, and you can have real-time uh, information updating. For us, if you have many cell phones, and the Black, we I use BlackBerry for daily work, and for my everyday life, I use another cell phone. During this time, maybe you need a simulation of your information. For instance, if I have a friend, he changed his cell phone number, and he sent me a message and let me to change this cell phone. If I have two cell phones, I need to change this on one cell phone and change it another time on another cell phone. Yeah. And our crying software is a kind of data updating on different soft, uh, cell phone platforms. It covers most of the cell phones in the market, like Nokia, Android, BlackBerry, iPhone, Windows Mobile, and etc. Our new crying. Uh, 1.6 version, we have this new push function. So uh, we can p 
push some new information. Like if I saw some new software on a network, I can push it to the, our to our client, and then our client can download it to your to your cell phone, and including all those uh, text messages and other kind of other form of messages. Now, it it will push information only to your own cell phone. Maybe in the future, we will push information to different users of Korean software, and also uh, data recovery. I believe that when you use your cell phone, this data for your contact is quite important. If you lost your cell phone, you lost all the information about your contactors. It's quite um, annoying. So for our Korean software, uh, we provide information update and also recovery. Maybe you have heard of SVN. If when you change something, when you there's some there is one some problem. You can go back to this original state, and our server provide a a function in on this service. And maybe uh, my Nokia cell phone and BlackBerry share the same account in Korean software. Then I can have a update of all the information on both of the cell phones. So data on both of the cell phones have the same, are the same. And that's the end of my speech. Thank you very much. Now I will introduce a software called Watai. So they, they do this financing software. Now let's welcome Mr. Tongba. Uh, thank you. Well, we want to uh, make those people uh, more help, more wealthy. So, actually, if we want to be rich, at first you need to know how to manage your own for fortune. Managing your fortune is a kind of mind mindset. If you know how to manage your asset, you can become rich. Actually, asset management starts from accounting, because account is a record of data. Only you have this kind of record of data, you have a base for your fortune. So if you want to record of have a record of your spending, you can use our software Watai. Watai was established in December 2009. It's our its first company in this industry. We provide a free personal asset management. Now we provide a platform support, Android, Java, iPhone, WeFone, and for all, the, all those different uh, brands of cell phones. Just now, our colleagues from BlackBerry, they call me Tongban. Actually, this is my nickname, which is, means coin. Our our colleagues from Watai Software, we have a nickname related to Fortune. We want to create Fortune for our customers, and we think that every employee of Watai Software is a Fortune of Watai. Now I will make a simple introduction of this Watai uh, BlackBerry version. Uh, beforehand, about 
10 speakers, they share with us their applications, and our archive is at the end. I think that the most important thing comes last. Moreover, uh, something with, uh, related with money comes last. If we now, we want, I don't want to talk too much about the functions and screens of what I cost BlackBerry, they, are, they provide a very powerful support and what I, the, our functions is also quite powerful. So it's a combination of two strong partners. So we do not need to bragging a lot. You can experience it yourself. You can see our spendings and our income. And you can have a try. Also, there is a list of your, your spending. And you will know uh, what is your financial conditions. And this is a response from our users. And back to the sea. What I will make those people who record their spendings more wealth, wealthy. Actually, you need to have a good asset management to be wealthy. So now here, I wish all of you a wealthy future. Thank you. The personal presentation showcase has just concluded, and we have already experienced uh, many kinds of uh, products or apps. And now let's welcome Jiang Wei, who will talk about uh, the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, so the last two topics will be uh, presented by me, and later on we will show you the, the playbook. I will try to focus on the key points I'd like to tell. My agenda is as follows. First, uh, I'd like to talk about the hardware of Playbook. And many people are also very focused on the core, the system of Playbook. I will also uh, give you a general introduction. And uh, since we have just released the playbook on the global market, we will try to focus on the application um, future of playbook. If you are interested in developing on playbook, um, where shall we start and uh, how shall we? Uh, where shall we go? And the first is the development environment of Playbook. Playbook is actually a uh, commercial tablet computer. is very strong in terms of its uh, uh, function. It's about seven inches. So this is about the hardware. We can see there is a 7-inch LCD screen with a screen distinguishing rate of 1024 times 600. They actually have uh, three versions of hardware. And uh, the cameras, I should say, is the highest end with the three million uh, for the four front cameras and five million for the back one. It also supports the high fidelity video. And uh, it also supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
Micro USB and micro HDMI is also very light. It's only 400 gram and uh, the cell is three, uh, 5,300 mA and so we can see it's uh, really very strong in terms of its function. Speaking of playbook, playbook will first come to its idea what support the operation of playbook. We actually support BlackBerry Tablet OS. It is a company we required. It's a small company, but uh, not a common one, because OS is actually a very strong system. It's a multitasking operating system. So in this environment, you can use uh, several tasks at the same time. It's also using the uh, micro core or mi micro kernel OS. So any problem happens may not affect the kernel. And uh, also we have adopted the most uh, advanced micro kernel OS. It is micro kernel, it can uh, it's a parallel operating system supporting many uh, processors. Meanwhile, it is also a real-time operating system that is RTOS. That means it will react to any task. For example, we know uh, usually a com computer has a CPO. If they have different tasks, they have to take turns to, to actually deal with those tasks. But for RDOS, we can deal with all those tasks at the same time. And also we have a POSIX. So all those softwares based on this POSIX can actually operate on OA platform. So the play, uh, it's ha the operating environment has, it is also similar to that of Linux. So, all those dots can be used on Unix, can also be used on this OS platform. So, we can see. Uh, Jose X is actually a very strong function. We also have its own input and output. You can support the high-end technologies, and uh, the system will not be damaged because of the blackout. We also have our special graph graphics uh, processor. We yeah, will also adopt a, a, a support Adobe environment. So we can see it's actually quite in the leading position in this industry. As for the main target uh, markets of QNX, actually it accounts for 70% of the market share of uh, the the uh, uh, cars, uh, it can also be used in industrial control and uh, automation of, uh, of the uh, buildings and also the manual devices, internet and uh, telecommunications. As we all know, Cisco's, all those um, Cisco's are, are actually were using the QNX platform. It can also be used in military, national security, and national defense. And the QNX are widely adopted in these industries, in these fields. So, QNX in itself has a very strong foundation. We can see it has, has its own security uh, uh, certification. Within an hour, 
the the run out uh, the, the uh, kind of uh, the situation of encountering a problem within an hour is quite low. So this is also. Um, I think it will have a very deep, a profound influence on the future pad. As for application, we're now targeting at uh, enterprises and uh, individuals. If you want to visit the enterprise, you need to connect it to your uh, S server through the Bluetooth. And other ways we can actually try to provide very um, tight security protection. Playbook is also a, a BlackBerry phone with a larger screen, but it can also operate other tasks. For example, under such circumstances, BlackBerry is a server, a Playbook is a is a uh, user end. And this is the way of connection between Playbook and uh, the enterprises. It served as uh, the phone served as a bridge. After adding some wireless parts, we can actually connect Playbook directly to the enterprise. So it has strong. Uh, Prospects in enterprise application. Now we have different types of pads, but for enterprises, the the, the requirements for pads are also increasing. I met different uh, clients from different uh, industries. For example, like most of the hospitals, they are considering to use pad. I heard such a news when the doctor or the nurse is bringing the pad, using the pad, it does not only change its working ways or methods, the patients might be more interested in the pad the nurse is holding and uh, the person can get the needed information in the shortest time. So this is a huge breakthrough. In the past, uh, the, the nurses might only uh, take a lot of uh, paper to, to fill this information in. So most of the time, they might actually be uh, trying to be spending on finding the related information, but with PAD, they can actually spend more time with the patients. So there has been a lot of changes with the usage of PAD. And um, as I've just mentioned, the functions of uh, playbook, Many people might know that uh, the market exploration for individual users is mainly based on Adobe and S N five. I think the playbook can support all those two platforms. And now let's turn to the development environment of playbook. Currently, we support three uh, developments. The first is for Adobe Air. So the Flash apps can be compiled into Air, and those can be operated on Playbook. And we also have different versions of Windows, Linux, and Mac. And also, we have the BlackBerry WebWorks SDK for tablet OS. We also have our inner browser that is the bracket of Playbook. So this is the HTML and CSS framework. 那么大家如果想开发基于 p r e v i n t 的话呢，我们建议会是说可以直接访问我们的官网。那么在这个网站里面呢，专门在这个左边呢有一个 Tablet OS 的应用开发的一个分类。而在这个分类里面，你可以找到你想要的所有内容。
我们简单的可以看一下，如果是用 Adobe Air 应用来进行开发的话呢，我们是提供 Flash 的运行环境跟 Air 的运行环境在 Playbook 里面。然后呢，我们可以基于基于这个 Flash 的 Builder 来进行开发，那么使用这个 Action Script 来作为开发语言的。那么这张表呢，其实是说，呃，告诉我们的入门的开发人员怎么来进行开发，可能大家看的不是很清楚。呃，我是想花点时间把这个。如果在座的是开发的人员的话，一定会感兴趣。啊，我想把这个时花这个时间给大家简单的捋一下。今天如果你有一台 Playbook， 你想开发一个 Adobe Air 应用，大概怎么开发的？第一步呢，他是说你需要看一些呃入门的手册，我觉得你都可以不需要看了。第二步呢，你要下载 Adobe 的 Flash Builder 四点五。那么这个当然它不是免费的，它是 Adobe 公司本身提供一个。呃，有一个试用期的版本。那么第三呢，你需要下载 Blackberry 的 Tablet OS 的 SDK for Adobe 的 Air。那么这个 SDK 的话呢，目前的版本是 1.0.1。这个就是 r a m 公司提供的 SDK， 你需要去下载下来。它有几个版本 ，for Linux， for 那个 Windows， for 那个 Mac 机的。第四点呢，你需要下载一个 VMware。大家都知道 VMware 吧？就是一个虚拟的这个虚拟的这个应用，虚拟的虚拟机来启动一个虚拟的这个环境的。第五步呢，是说下载。Playbook 的一个模拟器，那这个模拟器第五步是可以可选的，因为我们在我们的 SDK 里面就已经带了 Playbook 的模拟器，所以你就可以不需要下载，所以第五步可以跳过。第六步的话就是说，你通过我们前面的 SDK 环境，通过这个 Adobe 的 Flash Builder， 直接把它原来的 Flash Air 应用呢，直接转换成我们的这个应用，然后部署到我们的 Playbook 上面去。那我们目前的部署的方式呢，是说在 Playbook 上面会有一个开发模式打开，打开以后呢，通过任何的网络连接，只要说我这台开发机跟这个模拟器或者我的真机能够联系上的话呢，我就可以有一个部署的命令。比如说我这台 Playbook 有一个 IP 地址，我在我的电脑上直接输一个部署命令，把这个应用直接灌到那个 IP 地址那。这个 playbook 里面去就可以了。然后第七步呢是说，啊，因为你第六步只是在模拟器上做测试嘛，所以第七步你需要去申请一个签名工具。那么签名工具呢，目前是说针对 playbook 跟黑莓手机都是有的。以前是需要收二十美金，目前是免费的，所以大家可以去申请这个签名工具。那么这个签名工具呢，有一点是说，真的你去申请的话，它会需要你输入这个信用卡。那么它会有一个一块美金的这样的一个呃操作。所以呢，他只是说来确认你这个信用卡是真实的。然后呢，呃，拿到拿到这个签名工具以后呢，你就可以签名你的这个 bar 文件，最终部署到你的真机的 Playbook 上面去。同时，你也可以提交到我们的 Apple Word。就大概是这么样一个流程。应该来讲，对，如果是你是一个 Flash 或者 Air 的开发应用的高手的话呢，这个过程非常简单，是说你把你现有的应用只是做一个 UI 的简单的这个。呃，适配我们的七寸屏就可以了。那么对于 Web 开发来讲的话，我们前面讲，因为本身内置在 Playbook 里面是一个 Web 浏览器，所以它可以访问各种各样，就是说我们基本上目前所有的这个基于 Web 3 C 的标准的这个 Web 应用，同时直接直接可以运行在页面里面的 Flash 应用。啊，这个也是我们的非常强的一点。那至于 WebWorks 也是一样，是说我们同同样提供 SDK。那么这个其实跟我们的黑莓手机其实是呃同出是一里的，而且同时说我们也是兼容的。那么你也只是说我们屏幕大小的不一样而已了。所以呢，就是说你可以用我们的 WebWorks 的这个 SDK 来开发这样的功能。那么这里也列了一下，就是 WebWorks 在 Playbook 上开发的一个过程。那么基本上也就是说，呃，你需要下载 Adobe 的 Air 的 SDK， 然后去开发这个 Adobe SDK 就可以了。You can see from this screen. And this is the platform services of Playbook. I think the effect of Air system might be better. As for the future, I think we have already announced that the, the future development path of Playbook. Apart from supporting Adobe Air, as well as uh, other apps, we can also operate uh, the Android system above 2.3 version. So long as you have the native SDK, 
because QNX environment can actually be realized. It can also provide C and C++. We have, all, we have also the BlackBerry Java. We can operate those on Playbook. So with such a platform, any apps can actually be used on Playbook. And you can also develop uh, some other apps. So that is the other platform. And now I'd like to show you Playbook, uh, especially for those who haven't yet uh, get to look at the, this new product or those who haven't experienced the apps in Playbook. We're now actually uh, developing with our domestic partners to to make some localized uh, apps for Playbook. So I will show you what we can do on Playbook in the future. Because now I would like to transfer to another projector. Okay, I will stand here. Otherwise, I will block your sight. Uh, it's a five o'clock. I will give you a simple introduction. This is the screen for our playbook. You can see our operation model is like those similar pads. You can use the touch and also uh, gravity sensible. Now I have prepared many applications. I, I originally, I want to display every application to you. I can say that all these are divided into two parts for individual application and a business application. There are some inserted, uh, we have inserted two games uh, in this um, playbook. One is a racing car game. Meanwhile, we have a, a multi-task uh, function, you can see. Now we are loading this uh, racing car game. And when it is operating, we will up, um, download another game. Altogether, it's a touch screen. There's no button on this screen. There's a sound button on a side on side of the playbook. It is also a gravity sensible operation. So you can play this game. When we do this, when you operate this game, you can add in some other games, music games.
If you used this uh, fruit cutting game, it's similar with that. It also has bombs. Uh, for this display, I, I want to show you that all these uh, functions they can operate together. This this is a photo. Uh, you can show your photos uh, by this software. So you can see in the backstage, the three applications are operating together and they do not intervene in each other. Some users may ask me that how many applications can you do together? Actually, as many as possible, as the, there is no space left. Because uh, for each application, they occupy different part of resources. So they won't inter uh, interrupt each other. There is no pad computer can do this. Like they, can, uh, they cannot do 10 operations together and do not win with each other. So only Playbook can do this, so, and we have many uh, games, you can see. Uh, and uh, you can see that all these games run smoothly on this pad. It's a candy eating game. So it's a simple introduction. And so you can say we have diversified individual applications. Now I will introduce a business a company and applications. This is a HR system. Uh, for those HR officer, when you do, when I do an interview, I will uh, have all the resumes of those people, interviewees, and if I use this playbook, I can choose start interview, and uh, on this le left side you can see his CV, and on this right side you can write your impression about this employee. And there are many, many choices. And when you are done with the interview, you can submit this uh, list. And this is a, a supply, a supply of of the storage for a department store. And uh, the the red spot means that there is lack some uh, goods. If it lacks something, you can choose it. And you can insert the number, and uh, this data will be sent to this backstage server, and there will be some people uh, to do the supply of those clothes. So this is very suitable for those uh, business people, because this is a pad. So. It, it can show this uh, commercial dashboard. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, originally, it's really hard to read all those pictures on a cell phone. However, now we have a pad. You can see all those articles and the reports, and uh, it will help you control those key data for your company. And so you can choose different parts. And it Meanwhile, this is a, our own application from RIM. This is a, a procurement report. You can see all this list for, uh, for supply. 
and uh, you choose one and you can see all the details like you want to buy two servers and you can go back and to the approved process and to see that uh, which process did you to approve. Meanwhile, we have this application for those aviation companies, uh, colleagues with this patch, they can serve our customers in an airplane, in an airport or on, on an airplane. So the patch itself bring a brand new customer experience. Uh, so for some particular uh, occasion, the screen for cell phones is so small and the pad they have a much bigger screen. And also we are in contact with many hospitals and uh, provide services for those nurses and doctors and so they can read the information of the patients on this pad. So for instance, if a patient they went downstairs to get an x-ray and then the doctor can see this x-ray photo to, uh, uh, conveniently on this pad. So with this pad you can, which can change the business mode for our comp for those companies and uh, employees. And there are many um, book reading, so th this is a book reading software. You can see many simple contents on, in this. Uh, due to the time limit, and it's about a quarter past five, I will, I will only give you a simple introduction and know how to uh, develop things on Playbook and uh, what are those applications. Actually, there are about 3,000 applications online. If you have the technology and if you have this vision, uh, I really encourage you to develop all these applications and put that in our store. That's all for my speech. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> now I want to tell you that now we have a developers competition in in the global globally and we have really good awards and the different technical awards like for Adobe Air technology and other technologies. So if you participated in our uh, competition beforehand, you can also participate in our global competition. Finally, now let's welcome Frank. Okay, so I think it's a good thing. So I'm going to speak in English, but uh, so thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to, to, to China Planet. This was a new forum within uh, Chennai City with a different uh, uh, type of, 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 of viewers, uh, developers. I'm very thankful to you for having uh, joined this uh, new forum. Uh, we will probably uh, separate this forum next year, uh, but we will definitely keep it. Uh, we will probably turn this forum into a one-day event right before the China City Conference. So um, thanks again for coming, and I see you all next year uh, for the new uh, China Planet uh, Forum, which will be at the end of uh, May here at Tsinghua Science Park. <laughs>